Okay, let's have a quick check on what we talked about. We talked about the programming interface, the API, to know how to run Orca Flex from a Python script. Then we talked about Python object, Orca Flex objects, and uh, the attributes, which we may know with different names such as field element or member. We talked about methods, and as I mentioned, sometimes we may not uh, see the attributes of the objects so we need to go to the reference documentation i have listed here the api help or the python section of the api or from the help from the or kind of website and in case you want to search in the google like give you an example using the f7 shortcut and the last option was having a look inside the api code okay now let's continue with the optimization in the optimization we have an objective function and uh, we need to minimize it the problems that we are solving in real situation we have some constraints uh, we have different objectives the, uh, I have listed a few of them here. Feasibility is one of them. The capex and opex is the other one. Design life. We mainly want to reduce the vessel payload. The quantity of buoyancy modules. And uh, for reducing the risk of clashing, we may minimize the hang of angle, the lateral motion of risers. And also the vertical distance between hog bend and sag bend. The effective tension at hang off, we may want to reduce it. And the effective tension at touch time point, check the MBR and all code checks and partial decoupling of vessel motions between touch down point and hang off. And uh, we can we can add many more uh, objectives uh, but here i'm going to give you a simple example actually it is not a very simple one but uh, you know we want to learn how how it works this is i think more than enough so uh, this is a uh, uh, lazy wave risers uh, here uh, as you see, uh, I have shown a few points, A, B, C, D, and E, and here I have listed what are they. For example, B is the sag bend, and we have the Z coordinates of it and the radius, and this C is uh, the hog bend, and water depth is 400 meter. And for buoyancy modules also, we have uh, these inputs, uh, the diameter, length, and density. As you see, it has not given the spacing between the buoyancy modules, so we can consider it as one of the design variables. Uh, okay, once you see this one, I think it reminds you that we worked on a similar configuration in session four, I think. So let's go to session four and open that model. I open the simulation. I take a copy of the model here, save data as. I'm going to the current session folder and i want to save it as yml file i will tell you later why okay i name it as opt1 let's reopen it okay you see in the model browser we have some objects that uh, makes the example a bit complicated but uh, is not essential for the purpose of 
this session so I'm going to delete uh, many of them to simplify the example so I delete this one and this item also uh, the modules I, I rename this one to riser I mean and this type to riser type let's open it here in the drag I'll I remove that variable data this one also I remove this one also okay the wizard uh line with floats next the baseline type I use riser type one this is 1.2 I think 1.2 okay this is 1.2 the diameter the length is 1 and this the, the density is 0.4 the pitch or spacing is one of the design variable that we are going to find let's consider it 3 meter for now next finish okay so now this one I can rename it to float type now we can delete all this variable drag coefficients i'm going to make some more changes i change the riser name to uh, lazy wave riser and i want to define the north direction press on ctrl p and i'm going to general in the drawing tab here north direction defined 90 degrees good so north and y are in the same direction press ok come to environment here the water depth is 400 meter press ok and the orientation of vessel the FPSO is I put all this to zero X is zero and the heading 180 degree press OK let's go to lazy wave riser and here i'm going to change this coordinates and end orientation these values and the lay azimuth is 245 Yes. Okay. Okay, this seems good. Let's go to lazy wave riser again and this one was for water depths of 100 meters. So I'm going to change these section values uh, based on 400 meters. Suppose this is 200, this section is 100, and 200, this one 150, and the last section 100 meter. Okay, so we actually considered five sections one section is here this the length of this section i'm going to consider it as one of the design variable the length of this flutter 
again you I'm going to consider that as one design variable and the spacing of the buoyancy units the length of this section I'm also going to consider it as one design variable so totally we have four design variables okay now we are going to make the same model using python okay let's go to the python i'm opening a new script file here in i'm using jupyter ipython i rename this one to opt one lazy wave riser okay so here in this cell i'm considering is as markdown i'll put a description like lazy wave riser configuration optimization now first we should uh, import the required libraries the first one that we are going to import is the api one as api then i'm going to use the scipy for the optimization so i import scipy dot optimize as opt since i'm using the scipy and scipy is using numpy we have to import the numpy we import numpy as np and we can import matplotlib maybe for some plotting still i'm not sure we use or not then after that we initialize the model i write okay mdl if we put in mdl the api API dot model so as you see now we have a model see this is the we can check okay now let's go to the model I mean in the orca flex I'm going to change the view to view by groups and i'll start from the top actually this is a procedural way to make a model in python i prefer to follow this direction so i start from general as you see in general just we define the north direction if we highlight this one and press on f7 you will find the north direction it is an attribute and the other one is this one that i copy from here so here we can write mdl dot general dot north direction defined and i can copy the same command for the other attribute and i can fill here with yes or no or i can put both of them in the same line here yes and this one was 90 degree here actually i'm going to define general and environment for environment we can do the similar thing okay let's go to environment here we just change the 
water depth and press shift enter okay now let's go to the remaining uh, then we need to define the object types okay I completed this one for this one we should define all these values all these values all this uh, line types and this section lens this target segment and whatever we have changed okay I did all this here and uh, I also defined the end connections okay I press on shift enter I think our model is ready so we can save it mdl dot save data I name it opt to dot yml press shift enter now let's compare the two models for the comparison as I remember I think we talked about it in the first or second session there are some softwares that we introduced you can use I'm as you remember I use beyond compare uh, actually here as you see uh, we have defined in the manual ones a color but here we do we have not defined it is not important for us but uh, let's to define it this one is for the float type we have defined this color so I copy from here to and go to the Python code it was in float type so here I open a new cell so it is for float type okay but uh, what are the attributes let's go to the model and open the float type and come to drawing this is the color that we defined so this is a hexadecimal code for that color I save it again and now we compare them as you see there is no red lines here so our model now is completely creating the same model that we did manually now with the model that we have created with uh, python coding we can start for optimization end of modeling in this stage we should start to define the objective function the initial guess and use the scipy to do the optimization first i'm going to define the target see the segment z is minus 300 and the radius is 70 meter the hog band z is minus 270 and for the touchdown i have considered these values you know the touchdown anyway when the riser touches the seabed is minus 400 so it is not an important point to check now let's define the objective function f if this is the name I have given to it you can give any name we have four uh, design variables one is the lens at here the other one is lens at this section and also the spacing of these uh, buoyancy units and lens in this section 
So to continue this one, let me explain a bit about what we are doing. X here is containing four values for the four design variables I talked about. So X could be something like this. So when we are coming to calculate the objective, first we should specify these values to the correct attributes and objects okay after this we should uh, do one static analysis in this example i'm just going to use the static analysis mdl dot calculate statics and now we we can extract the values of all variables that we have in the model and calculate whatever we need and based on those calculations we can construct our objective okay for the segment we can use these commands to get the data from the range graph and then we can find the radius of the segment and similarly for the other calculations we can use similar commands as you see here we have calculated the difference between the desired segment z and the calculated one and similarly for the radius we did the same thing for a hog band also for the touchdown points for all of them and then we squared them and added to each other so if we minimize it we just can approach as much as possible to that kind of solution okay this is the objective function so we are going to test the objective function we call obj f and we supply the input and check the result as you see it is worked now we are ready to use the scipy for optimization of this objective function to find the solution that we are looking for okay first i define the initial guess okay i'm going to use the values that already we have in the model so i mean this i can copy from here okay okay now i'm going to consider some variable bounds this is essential because when you are going to iterate to find the solution it may consider some values which physically doesn't have meaning so orcaflex cannot analyze that and at the end i'm going to call scipy to minimize the objective function this is all it is better we add some lines for printing okay let's try it now you see how the progress is okay as you see it is terminated so success is true and these are the result these four values are the design variables and the others we should check with what we were looking for better to write some code to check them Okay, the values that uh, we found 
for these values but uh, you know these these values after the decimal point uh, are not very important for us so I'm going to truncate them now I call up objective function with these values and I added these codes to add the target that we were looking for for comparison okay as you see for for the segment Z we were looking for 300 meter minus 300 this is almost the same value it's good and the rest as you see are very so and from the value of the objective function also we can understand this okay now let's save these results in another model opt 3 dot yml and now i'm going to open it up three okay let's we check it with static analysis and this is the result we can check a few of the points although we have checked here but for example the segment z we can check here just press on Control shift and click on segment we direct to the C surface and you see it's almost 300 so everything looks fine 